Seven, six, main engine, start. Engine start. Four, three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Columbia to broaden our view of the universe through the Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the Pioneer is headed for the Hubble Space Telescope. Who is called Graham? Roger roll, Columbia. Columbia into the level, using the shuttle in a head down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Whoa. Whoa, that is cool. 25 seconds into the flight, Columbia's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Already two miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, leaving an incandescent trail behind it, Columbia headed for Hubble, Hubble almost over the cape at this moment. <coughs> Britain's now uh, going down as to throttle back to 104th of rated performance. The main engines, along with the three fuels and three hydraulic units, all fun operation. Standing by, we have Houston, you will add blow up. Thank you, Nick Alvey, you have a blow up. That throttle up going out, Count Mark Blasky acknowledged that Scott Allman aboard Columbia, joined on the flight by pilot Dwayne Harry, flight engine Nancy Curry, and specialist John Stowell, Rick Lenahan, Jim Newman, and Mike Massam, you get down on the mech. Columbia, right down the pike, 15 miles, 11 and a half miles down, heading due east from the Kennedy Space Center, altitude 350 miles in two to Hubble. A minute 40 seconds into the about 15 since prior to solid rocket booster mission. Standing by for RB separation. Booster also confirms the SRB section guidance now merging. Columbia board computer commanding the main engine nozzle to Jebel. Columbia is in. Two and N. Copy, two and N. That call from Cap Kalaski indicated that one engine should right now. Columbia can transfer Canada aboard to Prayer Morocco. However, as it comes into dawn, it could be a right off of a gaming vocal uh, precise space for being another. Been traveling into 400 miles or 42 multitudes and one mile down from the Cape. Now hang on the singular hour of its three liquid fuel main engine, Columbia, and it's hanging a half a ton fuel per second for large extra tank. See it down. Holy. Ten seconds into the flight, it's functioning normal orbit for the first time in 99. Altitude, 100 range from the Cape, Columbia continuing to function. I've never done that before. Great good nuclear power unit, power producing fuel for the shuttle in the fleet one year since its first. How come that's so bright? Sunny up there. Columbia ATO, the last. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's already risen. Columbia negative return. Not all, but a now call from Captain Long has been now 6165 mile off of the space center to reach an engine failure. All of Columbia systems can moment Columbia on time. Please tell me. Yep. They're making their own contract. Miles per hour. I'm a man. Go see it. Minutes into the flight, Columbia will be five to left. Miko. Hitting that uh, in the up failure, Columbia can get in orbit. Three. Point copy. Point orbit on three. At the time of main engine, uh, around three minutes from me traveling 25 pounds. Five in the flight, Columbia almost at an altitude, 350 miles down range. Colton, single engine, bay 104. Sorry, copy, bay 104. Transoceanic rates could be reached by Columbia. Multiple engine failure has continued to function by the boat. Very good uh, power produced, very good hydraulic power unit as well. Columbia now traveling miles per hour, 400 feet down range of the Cape. Columbia, Houston, Jim Press, 104. That is pretty. Columbia, Abbey, Jim 104. A smooth ride, so he turns. Nitrogen control, Columbia, Houston, plan is nominal. Nitrogen control. 
Cut off, expected one seconds into the flight. Oh, the Columbia okay. on the track, right down the heading for the 